So Neil, what a game and what a win, what's Jimmy Kimmel? Unbelievable performance from the boys, you know, to go down to, to ten men so early on. Um, you know, they're a very good side, we knew that. Some, a lot of experience in their dressing room. Um, first 15, 20 minutes, we weren't really at it. Changed our shape a little bit, um, thought we got better. We always knew that we could, you know, plan was about breaking on the counter attack. We knew with our two strikers that we could probably get down the sides, possibly get down the sides, should I say. Um, but we also knew we'd have to defend. Um, and we had to defend and then obviously losing Johnny um, early on in the game to go down to 10 men and then to lose Louis Earl to what looks like a very bad injury, arm injury. Um, we had everything thrown at us but the performance from the lads and the work ethic and the work rate from everybody was just fantastic. Yeah, uh, as you said, strong defensive performance. Felix Gala coming to the rescue at the end. What did you make of his performance overall? And, well, Felix yeah. is, you know, um, 19 year old. Everyone knew in the summer that I was waiting to try and bring him to the football club, and you know you don't say that. That proves he's, done, he's been brilliant for us all season. I think you know goalkeepers make mistakes. That's what happens. But when they're called on, like today, he hasn't made one save. He's, it's, it's not just the saves he's made today. You know, for a young kid, for the amount of stuff he came for for crosses, he was getting a lot of pushing and shoving in around the goal mouth with very little help. I didn't think in terms of protection. Um, but the saves he made was outstanding. But you know, taking away his saves, his overall performance from coming for stuff, taking pressure off the back foot, um, or five or whatever we ended up with at the end, because they were just at one stage I think they were three, two, five. Um, but performance-wise from everyone, and you know Felix, you know, included was was outstanding. Yeah, and Johnny Spittles' red card obviously didn't help procedures. Um, nope. What was said at half time? What was the? How did you regroup the players? Like how did they? Um, obviously, the sending off's not good. You know, it's it's a silly one. You know, to get booked for the first one and then to do it so soon after, particularly away from home and the, the home crowds up. Um, you know, Johnny's an experienced lad. He, he knows that that um, mm -hmm. he can't do that. Um, half time, it's about regrouping, getting them organised, getting them into a shape. Um, you know, the two key things is they were pushing the, the Colin Daniel on the three, and he, obviously he's a very good player. So. Um, we had to make sure it was just getting the Owen and, and Joe Ferguson um, to make sure the combinations were right between the nine and the three um, in terms of when he came short um, and then defend your box, you know. And luckily, or well, not luckily, uh, I think we threw our body in the way of everything. It's something great, but I'd like to see it back. Difficult to see from where we were um, on the halfway line, some of the saves. And, um, but, you know, just about sticking at it, staying in there. As I say, we had a good shape about us, stuck to our task. Connor ran his socks off. Conor Evans, that is up front on his own, and then Sold on his bit, um, and then we, you know, we had to throw young Toby on just to try and help us because they were just throwing bigger and bigger players on, um, and we just, I just thought from a set piece we were going to potentially get undone, but I can't, you know, the credit for the players, the, the performance is outstanding. Yeah, just focus on the goal. Uh, lastly, um, Conor Evans, first appearance since returning to the club, assisted yeah. Ferguson. How, how pleased were, were, were you with him today? For Connor? Yeah, for Connor and Ferguson. Yeah, yeah, very good. Ferguson, for me, played his two best games of football for me since he's been here. Um, last time against Aston, he was outstanding. I thought he was outstanding again today. Um, but you've got to give credit to that. He's come out of Blackburn. He's had a lot of injury problems for the young lad. Um, he had, obviously, he's coming back from a long term injury to come back into, the, into us this year. He's worked very hard. Um, his attitude is fantastic. And I think you're starting to see that now in his performances. And to cap it off with the winner. Um, but it was great for jokes. As I say, young players, but where the young, you know, you look at their team and their squad. You know, they're very experienced. You only have to look if you go through and look at all the names, the many league appearances they've got. You know, in their team and their squad. Our average age of our squad must be 22-ish, I would think. You know, um, we're not very old. You know, so we we, do, we lack that experience. But what we do have is that exuberance and that belief that we want to want to try things and want to try and get on the end of things but also defend properly um, but yeah the goal was it was great for us because that's what we'd worked on you know trying to get them on the counter attack because we knew they'd have a lot of the ball they knew that we, we thought we could get down the sides Connor's done that um, pulled it back and what was great as well I think we had three of they had one lag coming back in but I think we had three or four coming to try and to try and get the goal because places like this they don't lose very often at home um, when opportunities come you've got to try and take them yeah great thank you well done